Well, hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to Take 5. It's your daily five-minute piano workout with me, Scott Houston. Woohoo! Hey, if this is the first one of these numbered, long, giant sequence of uh, little workout videos you've seen, take a look at the intro video for the whole series. It's kind of a, uh, an overview that will describe the process so you don't wonder, like, this guy has got to be the most boring piano teacher ever, ever, right? you got to remember, these exercises are not piano lessons, nor are they required in any way if you're currently a piano and a flash student of mine. This is purely a series of quick finger aerobics to kind of get your hands in shape and to kind of give you the dexterity that's going to help you have more fun playing piano, and we do it in five minutes a day. That's it. So all the actual fun, cool stuff happens over at uh, pianoandaflash.com. Okay. Uh, finally, if you want to see this notated because you're kind of weird that way, uh, there's probably a link down in the description where you can get the sheet music for it too. So why don't you get Plant it in front of your piano or keyboard. Take your last sip of uh, coffee or tea or whatever you might be having or water. And we are going to dig in and get our five minutes in for the day. All right. Good news for those of you that have been. Oops, sorry. Clunk. Oh, there. Good news is um, we are on the last one. Unless you really have loved this uh, pattern we've been doing. We're on the last one of a 12-day pattern, right? So we're now up to a B major chord. The notes on today's pattern are going to be a B, D sharp, and F sharp. Right? One, three, five, three, one. Right, so that's it. So lock that visual in. So as opposed to yesterday's, which was black, white, white, that, that was the B flat. Now we're on a B. This one's white, black, black. Now I find this pattern just physically a little bit easier than, the, than yesterday's. So do the same thing. So just get that in line, like we always do. We're going to be, you know, doing it in some multiple octaves. Now, I'm not going to be using those fingers either. I'm going to stick with the same pattern we've done for this whole 12 days, which is using your, you know, your pinky and thumb and the middle finger. It really is not terrible. You could probably not play that way. It's not very graceful in the real world, but I want you to do it just for aerobics reasons, if you will. Okay, so let me go ahead, and by now you ought to have the the routine licked as far as when it goes from quarter notes to eighth notes and all that. So I'll just dig in, start my timer, start my metronome. There we go. Five minutes of counting. We are off. Everybody, let's take a deep breath. One, ready, play. Here we go. Here's the quarter notes. So really try to get that shape into your hand. Now we're going to double it up eighth notes and do it up four octaves. Now triplets. Oh, this one feels funny. Like I'm going to miss a note. Now here's a sixteenth note. That's four per beat. Ha! Got through it. I can't believe it. And then you go up and down the solid chords. So kind of lock it in. Repeat. There we go. That's what we're going to do another four or five times. And that will get our five minutes in for the day. And that is all you need to do with this boring stuff. it in. One, ready, repeat. Double it up. your brain saying, oh yeah, I'm never going to forget this. I think I missed a chord there. 
sorry. Feet. Sorry if I just whacked that somehow. Okay, we're under two and a half minutes. So we're over 50% done. Probably have three more and then we are done, gang. Now, anytime moving forward in the future, somebody says, What's a B chord? You're gonna go, I got it. That one burned into my noggin. The one that goes white, black, black, and it starts on a B. Two, repeat. Under one minute. That is where we're going to end it. About five seconds early, I guess. Give you a little break today, huh? <laughs> all right, we got it in. You got the, the B done. We've now gone through all 12 uh, of that pattern. Starting, it's called a chromatic scale, starting on every note there is. So have a great day. We just got over a little bit of a hurdle there. Uh, come back tomorrow. We'll dig into a new one. And uh, again, we'll just keep taking five every day and get your piano workout in. Thanks for joining me. See you in the next one. Ta-da!